Hey everyone, it's Eric here from My525XL. Just giving a quick update on the tank. It is December 15th today. I'm um, not going to talk about too much today. Just want to show the growth that I'm getting on my Acro there. Uh, that's the most growth I've seen since I got it. Uh, I think it's the beginning of the year. Anyway, in the last six weeks I've seen all these new branches shoot up, which is great. Uh, I think it's because my parameters are now st stable. And I'm going to attribute that to using all for reef. Um, Pistachio beside is encrusting on the rock still, not much growth otherwise. Uh, Favia there, still hanging in, still it's fine. It's, I need to lower it once I can figure out uh, how not to get that banded goby to bury it. Um, I did lose the torch coral unfortunately, which I was talking about last last video. My Florida Recoria is still hanging in, uh, but the rest of the coral seem okay. Pretty hardy, I guess. Um, the uh, green Leather coral is doing great. Duncan's flourishing. Hairy tip mushrooms are good. GSP, that survives through anything, I think. Eagle eye zoa back there. I got the other, I think that's a scrambled egg zoa there. Um, I'm battling algae, which is pissing me off. Have to figure out where my nutrient problem is. I'm only dose, uh, dosing. I'm only feeding the fish a uh, half a cube now of brine shrimp a day, plus a little bit of pellet, and it's once a day. So I can't say that my Nutrients are excessive in terms of feeding, so I need to find out what else the problem is. Uh, but anyway, that's, up, that's an update up top. Down below, I mentioned I was putting in my UV sterilizer, which I did, finally, did the plumbing. My only problem was, as I mentioned, I thought it would be, is I wanted to put the pump here, uh, where the water comes down from the display, but as I suspected, it was too quick for, uh, sorry, the pump was taking out the water faster than it could come down through the display. No matter what I did with the valve here, um, it still could not come down fast enough. So I had to put it here in the main area of the sump, which is not where I wanted it to go because my return is in the same area of the sump, but on the other side. So I'm kind of stuck with that for now. I'll have to see how it works, um, but I'll show you what I did in the back. So here we are in the back. Uh, I've got the UV sterilizer right here. I've got the intake coming on the bottom flow coming out at the top. Uh, the only thing I have not done is install the uh, flow sensor. So once I do that, I'm just waiting for some fittings to come in. Once I do that, I'll put the flow sensor here, put the FMM module up on the board there, and then hook it up and we should be good. I'll get some flow readings just to keep an eye on it. Um, you can see the light display here with the lamp on. You can also see it here on the end too. Looks almost uh, radioactive. <laughs> so. You know that the, uh, the UV lamps are on. I think they're good for about a year or so, about 75 bucks a piece. So there goes the furnace again. Um, over here is where I put the driver for the M1, uh, which is power, which is feeding the UV sterilizer solely. And then this is the driver for the M2, which is my return uh, return pump into the display tank. So so that's, that's what it looks like in the back. Um, tried to keep everything as neat as I can. So, so far it looks okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that side of it. So that's pretty much it for the video today. Um, I'm happy with the installation of the UV sterilizer. It's very easy. Uh, I've just got to make sure that uh, you have the room to, to put in the pump and the return. As I mentioned, ideally where I have it is not where you want to go. Um, you want it in separate areas of the sump, uh, so you're not recycling that sterilized water already. Um, but anyway, I'll have to deal with that for now. Um, tank itself I'm pretty pleased with, other than the algae issue that is cropping up and irritating the living hell out of me. I um, have to find out where the excess nutrient problem lies, but uh, anyway, like I mentioned, I'm only down to half a cube a day for these guys, plus a little bit of... Um, pellet food, but uh, I don't know. Pretty frustrating. Anyway, um, hope you guys are staying safe. We've only got uh, 10 days till Christmas. Got my tree up, waiting for Santa. Um, Star Trek Voyager in the background. I'm a Trekkie fan. Not particularly that series, but anyway, still, still okay. Um, yeah, so uh, enjoying the Christmas season. My preference is the time that leads up to the actual day. Uh, just from a spirit and Christmas point of view, but uh, anyway. That's all I have for today, folks. I hope you guys are staying safe. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'd love to hear from you. If we don't chat before Christmas, I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and possibly Happy New Year if we don't chat. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, Santa's kind to all of you. Stay safe and happy reefing.